I'm waiting for the sun to come up uh, so that Marla and I can go for a walk to a destination that I shall name in a moment. While we're waiting, <clears throat> I'd like to just mention the theory or fact that if you take any two villages in France, and probably the same applies to England as well, there are at least three roads connecting the villages. If you include footpaths, there's even more. The fact is, between the villages you have hamlets, so you need roads that collect the hamlets to the villages and the hamlets to other hamlets and the hamlets to further villages. You end up with an enormous matrix or web of, um, of major and minor roads and footpaths, which for the flaneur or the rambler is just a, a cornucopia of possibilities. But to illustrate a little point I'd make, like to make about this, I have my magician's hat and... Oh, just a minute. What are you doing in there? I told you not to get in the hat, didn't I? Well, don't do it again, please. Okay, ah, that's what I was looking for. In my magician's hat, I have three pieces of rope. I have a short one, a medium length one, and a long one. I don't know if you can see that. Perhaps it's better if I stand up. There we are. Short, medium and long. Just like three paths, for example, between two villages. Now, let me take the ends up like this. One, two, three. And now pull them apart and we have not a short, a medium and a long rope, but three ropes of identical length. Oh, I hope you can see that. What I wanted to illustrate with that is that um, the three roads between any two villages may be short, medium and long, but for the rambler they're the same because a short road may seem long because it's the quickest way from A to B but boring. The medium road may seem just what it is. A cat may seem to get on a table and inspect a magician's hat, cat in a hat, and a long road may be um, the shortest in the sense that time flies when you're having fun and a long road weaving between little hamlets can provide more visual and uh, sensory interest than, than uh, a medium or a short road. So that's the theory. Uh, if you look, I want to go to Varennes today because I know nothing about it. So I took Varennes and I took Vu on Google Maps and see, to see how they connected. And if you look at this little uh, three-part triptych, look away while the cat's here, you'll see that there are indeed three routes from Vu to Varennes, a short one, a medium one, and a long one. So, uh, let's go to Varennes. I mean, um, I have no idea. I've been through it in the car, but I don't know what it's like. So it's really a voyage of discovery. It's not a walk I've done before, and in fact, it's uh, a walk. I haven't even got a plan for it. I'm just going to wander out of the village and go my own sweet way, like this bloody cat on the table. Pooponet, Poops, would you please get out of the way? Oh dear. Yes, good girl. How long is this walk going to be? Well, how long is a piece of string? That's uh, Vlad's string theory. Let's see uh, how it works out.
obviously the ruin of a church of some kind. Um, a note for ramblers. The equivalent of the Ordnance Survey map in France is this, the IGN maps. They're very well done. Uh, the scale is one centimetre to 250 metres. And uh, you can get all of it for free on your mobile phone. There's also a very good internet site for France where you can go to any contemporary map and overlay it with previous historical maps. And for this region, going back to about 1750, this is particularly interesting if you're a detectorist because you find a field, you look at the 1750 map of the field, you maybe see that there was a little farmhouse there, which is no longer there, no trace of it left, but you know it was there, which means there's probably detectorist pickings, buttons and coins in that area. So that's today's piece of uh, practical information, useful tips for people with metal detectors. There he is, <coughs> Johann Sebastian Bach. <coughs> Not even worth a response, is it, Father? Bon, <coughs> 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 <coughs>